Bhagavad Gita quote said, if you want to be great, think great and positive. The holiest of the holy books of the ancient most religion, the Hindu religion, talks about the whole way of life shocking. This course says if you want to be great, think great and positive. When I saw this quote, it shocked me because the human power has got a thousand men warrior power. And as long as the man has not utilized his power to the extremes, somebody else will use. And that's where the slavery comes, the fear. They say the tears will stop you from seeing another opportunity. Same with tears and fear is very close related. The fear is stopping you from seeing another great washed opportunity to be the greatest. And when that is not been done, and when you do not utilize it, the very same moment you become deceased. Like the Chetko, if the last drop of the milk is not been removed from the udder of the Chetko, the cow will fall sick. So better to remove the last talent from you, so the cow is healthy and you get more profit. So when you utilize the last drop of your power, if you want to be great, you, you don't have to be great. You are great. You are unconscious of your greatness. You forgot to look into you. When you look into you, you can understand what happening to the catwalks of America and Russia. Catwalk. They both are walking with their weapons. Of mass destruction. And now, if the developing world and the developed developing world and the third world countries are a little bit conscious, they can know how much behind they are and how much far these countries have gone ahead by looting you because when you did not use your own energy by making things in your own country. You forgot to understand your power, you started buying from outside and they gave you a pencil and taught you how to use the pencil to poke a person while the same look-alike pencil is become the biggest ballistic missile which they are holding to destroy one shot to sink your whole country. That is the kind of a development what has gone deep down. Bhagavad Gita said, if you want to be great, think great and positive. You don't have to think great and positive, of course. And when you, when, when you are bookish, when you get stuck up in your own world, Without understanding your power or utilizing your power and you allow somebody else to use it, then there's no need to cry. Then you have to think great and positive and you can go to many, many, many seminars. You can go to many universities just to learn how to become great and to think positive. It never happens because those are borrowed knowledge, rock knowledge. A lie has got no legs, goes the same. And this borrowed knowledge has got no legs, it can be cut tomorrow. You cannot lie, you cannot run. An experienced one will have the legs to run. That's when think great and positive. You do not have to think when you have you clash your total energy on an everyday basis. The total love, the total hug and the total kiss. On to the plants and to the trees and to your family. You can see the vast energy opening to the joint. 
to several joints and those joints are called the joint family to the family dream that time you can know you don't have to think great and positive greatness and positive is the way of life how come it becomes negative it can never become negative how can you think less than great because you Joseph is great how come you think great you have forgotten that you are great you have a superpower and you were tricked by the superpowers, America and Russia. Bhagavad Gita says, you want to be great, think great and positive. To become great, the easiest method is to practice every one lesson your teacher teaches. You go back and read a thousand times in your conscious level and then you can know Nobody in the world can stop you. When you do a thousand push-ups, your hand becomes so powerful, you don't have to stretch your hand apart, you just, just a hook. You can see the power exploding, yes. The mind explodes, not the Rashtaka we borrowed poems, dirty, stinking, filthy poems. And people call them Rashtrak. But you will be a pure Rashtrak coming out of your thousand men, sweated out experience. It blows. Practically, you prove that you were a born poet. You make the land like a poetry, like how the wind blows and the trees dance the original form. That makes you great and that is simply poetry. Yes, when the rainwater falls, the grass grows of its own. Positive and nothing less than that. Great, less than that. Positive. Flowers, blooms. And you have a pyramid, powerful pyramid, a relaxed pyramid without any stress. You take a joint family and a pyramid and make you a the laziness, no, not uh, nobody has become lazy by getting so much of freedom, so much of technology. Technology becomes so vast. You start going deeper and deeper. But that to happen, it should practice from your childhood. That Sanskrit is very, very important. Practice that Sanskrit. Embrace the greatness of that great rainfall. Embrace the greatness of the great sunlight, embrace the greatness of the beautiful wind, embrace the greatness of the huge big tree, roar on the muddy water, the mud itself. And you can feel, you can talk even to the most poisonous snakes and nothing happens to you. Bhagavad Gita said, if you want to be great, you are greater. Think great, don't have to think. The moment you think, greatness runs away. Thinking happens of its own. Positiveness is thy name. 